Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do another layout for build a page and I believe this is day four and we are playing along with a bingo kind of a board this month, which I think is super fun. Actually, I'm going to keep this bingo board after um, build a page is done because I think it's a really great reference for, oh yeah, I can add this, I can add this, I can add this. So, you know, I don't have so much build up in my stash. So, not quite sure quite yet which thing I'm going to do. I just know it's not going to be this row because I don't have flamingos. So, it won't be this row or this row because that one reads flamingo embellishment. So, that much I do know. So, I'm going to use this kit. It's from March 2022 from the scrap room. And it is Echo Park Day in the Life. So, I have used it previously to design with, but I haven't used all of it, clearly. I have some pieces used, mostly from whatever this paper is. Great. I've got cardstock. I've got a sticker sheet that clearly I used some of those pieces. This kit contains die cuts and it contains some nice like olive green enamel dots. Now I added just in case more enamel dots. We'll see if we even need them. Some great acrylic pieces and I have some wood veneer pieces. Those are some of the goodies that are on our bingo card. Then I have this photo right here. This is actually my daughter and her boyfriend and they were going out for a pub crawl, I believe for St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that was green enough. That will work. Perfect. So, and it wasn't on St. Patrick's Day, but you know, just as a buy the buy. So what else to tell you guys? Oh, I am grabbing sketches from Scrap a Sketch February um, for Build a Page. And let me show you, this one was done by Crystal Barrett of Pineapple Papers. I like it. So we've got a background, of course. Little embellishment cluster there. Big old band design with a big circular element. Photo, I only have one, that's fine. Embellishments, boop, 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 done. So I think that'll be fun. I really like this one. Way to go, Crystal. I think that is awesome. So I do know I need to grab a piece of scrap white cardstock to go ahead and mat my photo. Let me see. Is that big enough? Nope. This is like, I have these little cast offs, cast offs right by my desk. And that's what I use if I don't have enough um, white cardstock in a kit and I don't have a white mat around my photo. I will just use my little Frankenstein pieces and it always works out. Things always just work out in scrappy land. All right, so I'm going to get this trimmed and then I want to start taking a look Oh, and by the way, I'll save pieces this big. They're great for backing the back of um, shaker pockets. All right. People ask me these questions. So sometimes I just feel like, oh, this is what I would do. All right. Now, let me make sure my bingo board is handy dandy. I need a background pattern paper first. Now, they're both wearing jeans. So that might be the ticket to bring that in. Like right away, that looks great. So we'll just do that. I'm not going to use the second sheet of cardstock. So we will get that put to the side. That's my total MO with that kind of thing. Now, I like the idea of the first main band being um, these cameras. I really like them. So let's go about, yeah with the cameras Boop. and so we have that being the main band I need a slightly wider band so I'm thinking for that it has to be just a little wider than this one and then I have to let's see cut it to approximately I don't know maybe an inch off of that meaning it has to be shorter. So I have that. Then I need to go get a bowl and do a nice little cut around. 
or to make a circle. Guys, why don't I have words? Sometimes I have words, sometimes I do not. I guess when your mind's getting into a super creative space, it just like checks right out. So this right here, background, blue. Then we have this piece. And then we have this piece that is going to go right under this piece, right? A little bit more centered according to Crystal's design. Then, y'all, I will grab this or this, but I'm actually going to grab this to do a large circle element. We'll have the two circle sides behind that bottom piece. I will match my photo with the corresponding papers, whatever will stand out. And I'll meet you right back here. You know what I might do? I might have the other piece of that really nice navy blue cardstock be one of my photo mats because I think it would really make it show up. So I have the base of my layout. I still haven't matted this, guys. I'm going to turn it. I did cut out this adorable Polaroid from, it just looks just like that one. It's just a little bit bigger. I cut it out from one of the pattern papers. Now I was thinking that I should take a look and see what I'm going to do here. So I know I have wood veneer. I'm not going to have butterflies. So I have wood veneer. I know I have stickers. I know I have flare. And I know I've used scraps. I can use scraps. And then I can do splatters for mixed media. So I guess I'll concentrate here to start. Right? Now, um, I am going to bring in florals because I've got this gorgeous piece here. And I want to create a nice little floral cluster under the photo. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time fussy cutting those little goodies. I'm going to cut this. I have to map my photo. Guys, I have this whole sticker sheet with all kinds of things too. So we have lots and lots of things we can use, but I think I better sit down, turn the camera off, do a little bit of fussy cutting. I'll meet you right back here. So let's see. So everything on here is attached down. I triple matted my photo and I went to get some adhesive and I found some dimensional adhesive and I love using stuff up. So I'm like, okay, we just have to sit here and watch me do the thing where you pick the little bits apart a little bit, which I know isn't awesome, but here we are. So we've got this piece that's cute. I'm gonna kind of have that one there. And then I have two smaller pieces that I like. I've got this one that has a bit of a coral floral, coral floral right there. And then I've got a little bit more of a yellow floral. And that's gonna do that nice floral cluster that we have in our inspiration piece, right? Then, oh, but wait, so I have that. I do have these really great leafy bits. And if you look at my sketch, and guys, I promise you that this is total coincidence, but look at how well this sketch is working with this. I didn't look up the sketch till I sat down to create with you guys. And I'm like, okay, wow. It's just totally meant to be. That's what I've decided. So I'm going to grab out these pieces. This is from Some Assemblage Required. My gal pal MK has a great shop. She has these really cute embellishment kits, guys. I got one recently. There's this little garden hose thing that is hilarious and adorable. So cute. Anyhow. I wanted to get some of these wood veneer pieces up and under here. I'm only gonna put the adhesive like on a little bit of it so that if I want to, I can still tuck some things. Hmm. Now our inspiration piece has the florals kind of, I mean the leafy bits kind of up there. So I'm gonna do that, but I also want something kind of down here. I just don't know what my title is yet. And the title is supposed to be kind of here-ish. So let's just do our best and get these cute pieces on. But that's going to take care of the wood veneer part of the party. Very cool. Love those. Super cool. Using up some adhesive that I forgot that I wanted to use up. Using up some little wood veneer bits. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to put that wood veneer to the side. We do have to work on a title a little bit. A little bit. This is my story. New, new, new. Always your dreams. New, 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 new. Let's see what's in here. Now, 
I can always, ooh, look at this. I like this tag that reads for the record. Maybe I just really dig all of these camera pieces. For the record, that's kind of cute right there. Let's do this, new. Here, now is cute. One day at a time is cute, guys. These pieces are adorable. Let's see, these are the days, oh. Are you saying you want to be a little tiny shaker pocket? I think that's what this little thing is saying. All right, we're gonna create a little shaker and I think that's gonna end up going right there. A cute little shaker pocket to really build it out right there. Always be kind now. Or I can do that. Ooh, guys, I think I'm gonna do that. I was gonna make a shaker like a nano a second ago, but I like this idea that I just got to do something kind of like this. Okay, do that. I put this here, right? But then I liked this little piece. Guys, where is, I was gonna say, where did that foam stuff go that I'm trying to use? Kind of wanting to just pop this piece up right there into that frame. So I have two different colors and cute stuff. Okay. I have that. Now I still have this adorable little camera piece. Maybe somewhere there. And guys, I've got to come up with a title. I've got to come up with a title. Enough of this like playing for one second. This is my story might be cute. I like that. This is my story would be perfect. And we've got a little bit more of a solid vibe, which we definitely need. Okay, so clearly this looks lots and lots like our piece, right? I don't think I'm gonna put the cluster that goes right there. I like the resting space that I'm getting from the uh, white. I'm sorry, it's not white. Just so you know, it's not white. I like the uh, navy is giving my eye a little place to rest. I've used so much pattern paper lately that maybe I feel like I need just a little bit of that kind of thing. Okay, so I do like the idea of just getting a little camera in here. Phew, okay. Let's see if I like any of these other little bits. Now this right here is for a tag, but what I probably am going to do, because I have them and I do this often, is just put a little enamel dot where that is then why don't we grab some of these enamel dots. I'm gonna put this one here, like it's tacking down this piece that looks like a book plate. Great. How's the size for that? Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm gonna put one right where this camera is in the lens. Oh, but I didn't because it is being fussy. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So I have that, kind of have three, but I did want to put one in the center of my little floral piece here. I don't know, there's just something that I like about decorating up my things with some enamel dots. It just brings things to life just a little bit extra. Okay, lots of enamel dots doing all of the things. Now, I think I'm going to turn this into a book plate as well because I've been kind of going off doing this just now. Um, I think that's super cute. Guys, I'm not left-handed. Things are going sideways quickly. Okay, come on. Yeah, that's about right. So at this point, I have three little enamel dots. That's just fine. I like the title. Now, guys, why do I feel like this is done? I just love these pieces. Love them love. Now I do have one more, but it looks kind of gigantic, you know, because those are these smaller ones. I'm wondering, nah, I like, I like the vibe. I'm liking my vibe. So I have plenty of enamel dots. I'm going to put this to the side. I don't need to use that. I love that. I've just been like, okay, these are all working. I need to put my extra enamel dots out of the way. Okay, now let's look at bingo. And we're just going to go down the line and see 
if there's something else being put on here. Two photos, that's a nope. Use scraps, I did. I matted my photo with two scraps. Florals right here. Pastel pal colors, I have some of that. Tags or tabs, that's a tag right there. Now, do we have a tab? I mean, I can always punch one, but I was only gonna put a tab on there if we had one. Oh, we do. All righty. All righty then, just a little something extra happening right over here. Not even necessary, but we like it. Uh, flamingo embellishment, not gonna do that. Mixed media, I'm going to grab some white, some white um, Dino Bakley gloss spray in white to do some splattery bits. Stamping, not doing sequins, Nuva drops or enamel dots. I went off on the enamel. Here's my wood veneer, free space. Don't have butterflies. L-shaped design. This is actually more of a band design, but it's hmm. cut file or dies. No. Stickers. I've used stickers. Uh, grid design. Nope. Chipboard. There is no chipboard in this kit. So nope. Two or more alphas. I didn't use any alphas. Flare. Oh, I got to use flare. Let me see if any of the flare from my current Scrap and Happy Studio um, Happy Mailbox will work. Now, these colors are a little bit bolder, so I don't know if they will, but I thought I'd look. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, I'm going to grab some flare from my flare stash. Three pattern papers did that. Did not stencil hearts or stars. Do we see any hearts or stars? I don't see any there. Are there any hearts or stars here? Oh, I found one more tab. I'm just putting it on there because I want to. It's not even doing anything. I just like it. Um, hearts, 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 stars. Nothing. Not seeing it. Okay. Who knows? Maybe I will find a heart or star. E um, flare. Let me let me go look. Right, so it. notes to self. I have one snoring bulldog under my desk. He is snoring like it's his job. So here is a Scrap and Happy Studio flare. So when you make your order, uh, she puts these, or she did at the time, uh, she puts this cute little freebie in there with on a, like a thank you card. And I think it is so sweet and clever. I do. Has a little enamel, or not enamel dot, a little bit of a um, pop dot on the back. So I'm just going to leave it and enjoy that. So I don't... I mean, I know it's really heavy over here, so it's kind of like, part of me is like, do I do just something a little bit over here to bring something else? I kind of feel like I should. Okay, so I've got that. Oh, and then I found, look at how cute these are. These are these mini flare, and I love the minis. Look, it's the sweetest little cameras, and they look like it to me. So I thought, all right, let's get one of those on. Why not? Oh, come on. Oh, that's very gooby, very gooby, technical. So I've got one there. Could have put one there now that I see it. Well, it's a camera on a camera. It seems a little bit camera obsessive. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and tack it in right there. My lavender does not work and my pink does not work. I'm just looking to see, looking to see. All right, I need to find one more flare. Um, another thing that was a choice was acrylics, and I was thinking about getting, where's the acrylic piece? Oh, acrylic piece is right here. I've got these little florals, and I was going to see if any of them will work. No. You know what? This light blue works. It's got this masking on it. It's not a big deal, but I do like how pretty these are and I think they won't be as bold so it'll calm down how bright they are if I go ahead and pop them on like that all right so I'm going to pop these on but I do need to go find one more flare we're going to do some splatters I'll come back show you my finished layout all right so that is this layout finished of some fun white splatty bits nice little floral cluster and that is that for this layout. I'm going to have links down below for the other Build a Page creators. And let's see, did I tell you that this was a kit from the Scrap Room from March 2022? 
Then I have some Scrap and Happy Studio Flare, a little bit of color cast designs, little acrylics. And that, my friends, is that. All right, I'm going to have still shots to follow, and I'll see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye, guys.